Hey everybody, my name is Kitam, welcome back for another video of NHL 21 Franchise Mode. We're going to continue this series, boys. In the last video, we went ahead and simulated the entire season, uh, fourth season with the, uh, I guess, the Rangers, right? In the third season, we won the cup. Fourth season, we went to the fire. Uh, we, uh, we went all the way back, right? We uh, started off from being the first the one of the worst teams of the league and the worst team of our division from being the best team of our division and one of the best teams of the league but unfortunately in the playoffs after dominating the first game against the new york islanders we got wrecked uh, well we got beat up quite uh diff in a difficult game i guess in the second game in the third game the final one we basically got wrecked uh, uh in our terms so that is not good at all. We just got defeated. We got eliminated in the first round. That is not a good way to go out, especially after winning the cup the previous year, boys. So we got to figure something else now. The Colorado Avalanche are, uh, did win the, uh, the cup. I don't know what type of team they have. We're going to go to uh, the draft lottery, try and see if we can uh, draft a good player or anything. Ducks are going to have the very first draft pick. See what we can do, boys. Uh, it's going to be difficult right here. We're not going to have too much. We got 26 picks. So let's see if we can't move up right here. Uh, all the way up to, I, I guess, 25th, uh, 21st uh, pick. If we can't move up all the way there, then uh, there's no point in moving up at all, boys. So let's get the first round pick right here. Let's see if we got any rookie skaters we might want to trade or something. Not, uh, nothing really. I don't think there's anything that uh, they're gonna want uh, for uh, for uh, moving up. I guess maybe these two fringe starters could it, uh, could do the trick. Not even. Okay, so we're not gonna move up, boys. It ain't gonna happen. Let's just simulate. Uh, we're not moving up. Uh, there's another medium franchise player. So a lot of medium franchises uh, year after year. This time it's going to the the docks right here. A power forward as well. That would be really great for us. Uh, Mike Connolly, it looks like. It seems like that name. Mar Marshall Connolly, okay. Defense of defenseman, boys. And the top three, Semenov, uh, medium elite, 79 overall. Another uh, defenseman right there, May. Let's see the Sharks. They got another defenseman. A lot of defensemen this year. Okay, so Montreal kind of messed it up, unless there's nobody else right here. Oh, it seems like it's dropping off now. Okay, so it seems like there's no, uh, not really any other option. So we're going to move up all the way to 26 pick, which is us. There's a, an Hamilton guy right here, which is, it says that it might be a, a medium elite. Uh, we, don't, we don't know that for sure. Let's see if there's anybody that, uh, that is a gem. There is this guy. Set up to be at 70th uh, pick though, so we're going to wait on that. Uh, there is this guy that is a gem, though, so I might want to pick him up. He's a gem, boy, so I think, I, yeah, I think I'm going to go for him. Uh, these two guys, I'm going to wait on them, so I'm going to go for the gems, boys. Now, this guy, obviously, is not in the lead, but he's a medium top six. Playmaker, center, really good player, 69 overall already. Yeah, offensive awareness is all the way up there as well, so, yeah, I think he's going to be a good player for us, boys. He might be a, a really good player. Let's see if we missed out on everything. Nope, Hamilton was a complete garbage. Uh, kind of the same for Bertram, nothing too big. No, I don't see anything big, boys. I didn't miss out on anything at all. So we're good on that part. We're way good. Now I want to make sure, are we far away in terms of third round pick? I think we are, right? Yeah, I think, uh, I think uh, we are kind of far away. So I want to go for these uh, these two, I guess, gems right away right here. I'm not going to waste any time. Let's go for these two gems. They're both set up to be elite. There's one that goes a high, uh, closer uh, real quick. So we're going to go for that guy really quick. Hackett. Okay, yeah, let's go. Let's go for Hackett, boys. Second round pick. Uh, gem, let's see what he is. Low top six. Playmaker, right wing. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good, boys. Did I miss out on anything? No, uh, so far I'm getting the good stuff. Yeah, well, low top four. But it's a uh, 2F with D-man, so nothing too serious. There we go, power four right there. So kind of all the same. We don't, we're not missing out on any, like, some uh, any sort of elite or anything. So we're good on that part, boys. We're not missing out on uh, elites. Uh, is there a gem? Uh, I think that other gem be yeah, picked up, boys. So we don't have a gem. Is that, uh, is that the case? 
Seems like that's the case, boy. So if the gem got picked up, we can't pick him up anymore. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we're going to sort it by that now. We're going to try and get lucky on these things. Let's see, boys. Can we get lucky or anything? Now, this guy might be a defensive defenseman. He's uh, very close to us. I think we're going to pick this guy up. He might be something, boys. Low top four defensive defenseman. All right. There we go. Just like that. Picking up both my intuitions, boys, from what I'm seeing from the scouting uh, perspective and stuff like that. Okay, next up. Uh, someone that's really close to the, in the hundreds. Ah, uh, we got the, some, the, some elites in the hundred right here, I guess. Nothing too crazy. This guy, maybe. I, we could try a lock on goalies. There's a lot of goalies right here, so we can try on lock on one of them, but I don't know if any of that's going to work, boys. So both is a, a player though. Yeah, I don't know. Let's uh let's try and see. This guy was in the D League though. C League, I guess. A plus league, D League. Uh it wasn't that good. What about this guy? It was pretty good. I'm gonna pick up Danny boys. Louis Danny. French starter. Alright, so complete garbage. I missed out my on a a good draft pick for that one right there. Kind of missed that out, boys. Let's go to fifth round. We're making this quick for the round picks because there is no point in me wasting my time or anything. I feel like I kind of want to try my luck on this guy right here. What is he? Four years? Four years, pretty good. 25th, 16, uh, 25 assists, 16 uh, assi uh, goals. C minus, though. I'm looking for someone that might be like at least a B or something, but this guy was a B. Yeah, this guy was a big, was already set up to be a French starter. Yeah, I don't know, boys. I want to go for, uh, I'm just going to set up like that. There we go. That's the best option we got. I think this guy's an A+, plus, so we're going to go for him. We're going to go for him. A+, plus, uh, medium franchise player, nothing. So absolutely nothing right there. We, we are really messing up um, in terms of trades. I can't really find anybody, boys. I would probably find a lot of good players if I took my time and stuff, but I don't feel like doing it. Uh, Ludwig Olsen, 19 years of age, not going to happen. 18 years of age, Solovyov is A+, plus, uh, plus one. That could be a good one. What about this guy? Anybody else? Fourth run, 20 years of age. So we're going to go for uh, this guy, left wing right there. See what this left wing is all about. Bottom six, complete garbage. Yeah, all right. So we're not picking up anybody, boys. <laughs> Last pick right there, I guess. Last chance to pick up something that is relatively good or something. I mean, we can try luck at that LaBarbera guy, but uh, it's not going to happen. He's not going to be an elite. So uh, I'm looking for someone that's in there, I guess. Like this guy right here. I, I should be looking into the lows, actually. There we go. This, what, how about this guy right here? Cascurenta. Let's see. Low top uh, low top nine. Okay. Sniper low top nine. So it's not too bad, but you know, we could have better, I guess. Oh, uh, there is there was a low elite right there. The, uh, the second to last pl uh, drafted player overall was a low elite. That's interesting. Alright, well, sim to free uh, sim to this. There's a scout right there that needs to be re-signed, I guess. For Russia wise. We're gonna re-sign him really quick. That's the guy. Let's uh, just resign uh, Jerky right here and uh, do our thing right here. There we go. Okay, so we're getting ready to sign our players right here. Let's take a look at what we're going to need. I don't know how my roster is going to look, but uh, let's figure it out. We've got Backstrom still with uh, 87 overall. Of course, he's got one more year with us of contract at least. Malkin is still uh, an 87 overall. He dropped again, but uh, he's an exact toxic now. Uh, Johansson is now... Uh, bottom six is going to start to drop quite uh, quite a lot. He's going to be a minor player more than anything else. We've got Stahl as well, which is a minor player. Let's uh, figure this out. I do want Malkin back. Uh, the, the way I figure is, yeah, if they've got a lot more offensive awareness and uh, pours and all of that, I do want them back. So, uh, Malkin, you're coming back, buddy, for sure. So, you're, uh, you're going to get... Uh, I can't uh, give you, right? If I do that, I'm going to have to give you exactly what you want. Yeah, so you're coming back. I'll, I'll give you the three years you want. 
and for this uh, for the money okay three years but for the money you want so we got two uh, two left one uh, centers right here we're gonna need two more centers for sure right away right off the bat we already know we need two centers for the the main team what about these guys so uh one two three okay so three players for the miners right here Groening, we can keep him growing uh, in the CHL or whatever. Uh, Lazat, uh, Lizat, we can probably wait on him. Is he any good? I think he's good. I think he's pretty good, boys. All across the board, you can see discipline and everything is really good. I don't know. I I, I don't know. What about uh, Eric Stahl? Eric Stahl might be better, though. I think Eric Stahl is just better overall, boys. We're going to get rid of Lazat. I don't need any top nines to grow and get to the 80s and give me a headache or anything. So we're just going to get Eric Stahl guaranteed to play in the minors and stuff like that. So get him in there, I guess. Oh, uh, there we go. You're getting the maximum amount of years, my guy. All right. So we got our four players for the minors right here. That's pretty much that. Left wing. Let's see what we got. So we got uh, one, two, and three. So three players guaranteed to play already for us. In the main league, Terra Vine, do we want to re-sign him? Just want to see really quick, is there anybody else? Nope, not really. So, do we want Terra Vine back in here? He's 85 overall. Let's see, Playmaker, 91, 87. So, both his discipline and offensive awareness is up. I, I, I need everything to be upwards, uh, better than his overall, in terms of poise, discipline, and offensive awareness, boys. That's the way I look at it. So... I think he's a good player. He's a good player, but we might be able to get something better. But I'm going to keep him. I I'll keep him, boys. I don't feel like uh, there's too much that we're going to get out of the free agency. So let's just get him back uh, just to be sure. Let's see. I'll give him one year. I'm giving a, a one-year deal, boys. Uh, dropping him up a little bit. Uh, I want to see what he can do for one year until 30 years of age. Okay, so we're going to drop him up a little bit right here. Uh, what about, okay, so minors, we're going to get one, two, three. And that's about it. We got three players in the minors right now. So we can re-sign this guy right here, Altonen. Uh He is a playmaker. In the, yeah, all right, good. Now his poise is not uh, good enough compared to, to it. But what I need is offensive and discipline. Offensive awareness and discipline needs to be up there. So I think uh, that's uh, good enough for me. So you are in, buddy. You're in. Altonen, uh, get in there. You're going to get, uh, I guess, three years. No, two years is fine. Yeah, two years is fine. I'm going to make sure that uh, you do resign with us, though. There we go. I'm going to make sure to, uh, you do resign. So left wing, we don't need anything. Right, uh, Left wing, right, right wing. What do we need? So one, two, and three, and uh, four actually. So we got our four players for the the right wing position, boys. We already have those. I think we can get rid of him now. There we go. Let's just get rid of Wade Simmons, boys. Uh, Kasha, we don't have any more space for you, my guy. We already have our four players. Uh, for the minors, one, two, three. And I guess we don't have any other options. So Hackett, is he any good? He's a playmaker. Oh, yeah, he's way good. He's really good. So we can uh, definitely sign him. We're going to sign him. He's going to be our fourth player in the minors. Okay, so we are going to need a depth forward. That's all we're going to need. So forward-wise, I got to mark that down, boys. Okay, there we go. It's marked down. So we need a depth forward. Defensive-wise, let's see what we got. So one, two, three, four. So four, four players offensive-wise. Uh, we might have to get Buffalo to be our depth defenseman, actually. Because he's 81 overall. He might drop uh, right at the season as well. Uh, let's see if Miller is any good. He's a medium top four, so I want to give him a chance. Yeah, Miller is really good. I want, I really want to keep him because he's a really good defenseman. He wants uh, four years. If I give him six years, it's going to give him... Uh, let's give him the six-year deal, boys. Let's give him the six years deal. We're going to have to give him uh, the money he wants. There we go. So six years, my guy. One, two, three, four. And uh, I guess a uh, five. Because this is going to be a depth defenseman right there. So five, I guess, right here. Yeah, I don't know. Do we want uh, Robinson back, though? 
Robinson, what was he? Did he did he play for us last year? He, no, he played for the minors. So now he's ready. Basically, he's a prospect that's ready to play. Uh, look at his discipline, though. His discipline is below the overall. So that is not good enough. For, we uh, don't want that. We're going to release him, boys. He's not good enough to play for a team in the NHL for us, at least. He doesn't fit my scheme. That's for sure. So going to get rid of him. We are going to need uh, one, two, three, four. So, yeah, we're going to need uh, two defensemen right here. We already have our depth defensemen in Buffalgan. We just need two primary defensemen for the league. Uh, one two three four right there and that's about it we got four defensemen so far uh, right here we are not going to re-sign Giordano he's a bit old uh, Hunt doesn't want to come back uh, he's tired to be a depth defenseman I guess so we just need two more defensemen right here uh, this guy is perfect 98 of discipline as well that's going to be a great defenseman uh, okay so we're going to give you the three year deal my guy just give you exactly what you want they're just like that. Uh, Vegetti, Vegetti, are you any good? Actually, yeah, you're pretty good. Yeah, now you're a defensive defenseman, but um, he seems pr like a pretty good player, boys. So uh, I think he should be all right. He should be all right for us. But the problem is he's a defensive defenseman. I don't like that. Well, whatever. Let's keep him. I'm not gonna be, uh, be too judgmental on the on a defensive defenseman. Let's keep him and get uh, our thing together. Goalie wise, last but not least, we already have our two goalies set up already. Uh, we got uh, all of our goalies set up actually. We got our elite play uh, goaltender though ready to play, uh, ready to be signed. So we're definitely gonna sign him. This guy is not gonna be signed though. Yeah. So Brian Lake, uh, he did pretty good for the minors, right? Well. Saving percentage, not too much, but uh, we're definitely keeping him. We are, are going to have to play him for sure, obviously. Uh, so let's go ahead and get rid of that screen right here. We're going we're gonna to be good right here. We don't have to resign anybody. There we go. Let's uh, resign everybody right here. We should be all right. I think uh, we got everybody that we wanted, even the scout and everything. So yeah, we're good. Let's uh, send to free agency, boys. We don't need to sign any coaches. I don't think so, at least. I think it's all about the players. So it's going to be a lot faster and stuff like that to deal with everything. Yeah, our coaches are fine. And our scouts as well. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to go look for exactly what we need. We're going to upgrade our team right here, boys. And look to uh, really make it far into the playoffs this time around. So UFA. Let's see. Center position. So we got a lot of options for the center position, boys. Let's just uh, do it like that. Overalls. Uh, we yeah, we got a lot of options. Already you got a, you can see we've got a middle stat like this medium elite uh, player. Very good potential. Is he any good? Oh, he's really good. I'm gonna pick him up. All right, so I'm picking uh, I'm picking up uh, middle stat for sure. There's a Dylan Larkin as well as an option right here. So Dylan Larkin is any good uh, playmaker. So he's uh, 91, 80, uh, 95, but discipline is all the way down there. Discipline is not good, boys, but he's the 91, though. Yeah, but discipline's not there. So he's not a playoff guy. He's not a playoff guy at all. He's going to take a lot of penalties. I don't like that. I don't like the sound of that at all, boys. Need someone who can... Uh, first off, let, let's sign... The sign middle stat, that's the first thing we're going to do. Uh, do. There's nobody that wants to go for him. So we can try and sign him for the two years, boys. We can try and go and sign him for the two years, for sure. Let's uh, try and do that. Four years, uh, actually. There we go. Sign you for the four years. And the rest, uh, well, the rest, I don't know. I should probably go for Larkin. I got to be honest. I really want to go for Larkin, boys. But the stats are telling me otherwise right now. The stats are telling me he doesn't have any discipline. He's going to take a lot of penalties. He's going to hurt our, hurt our team. Unlike a guy like uh, Winberg, boys, who's not going to hurt our team. He's actually going to do better uh, for the team. Yeah, he's a playmaker as well. Uh, now, in the 90s, that's the thing, right? He's in the 90s, so I got to pick him up. I got to pick him up, boys. He's an elite player. It's Dylan Larkin, for Christ's sake. I, gotta, I have no choice here. I got to pick him up. 
Yeah, I got to do it. Uh, now, Nashville, they want him. So I'm going to have to give him the seven-year deal he wants. Hopefully, he's going to be good for us. He better be good for us because uh, I'm going to lose my shit if he's not. All right, it's four, uh, 12.45. Uh, there we go. So we're gonna taking a chance on this Larkin. Uh, on Larkin, I hope he's good. Uh, there was a look at that. Kaprizov as well is available. A lot of good players available, boys. I'm not gonna go for a player though if I don't need him. Don't need that left wing. So I should have got uh, gotten rid of uh, Teravinen, I guess, because uh, Kaprizov was gonna be av available. Damn. Should have gotten rid of him, boys. Oh, well. Okay, so defense. We do need two defensemen. Uh, not a lot of options this year in terms of defensemen, boys. Really not a lot of options. So we're going to have to make do with what we got, I guess. Johansson. So this is a prospect player, I guess. A young player. He can still grow. Let's uh, figure out really quick. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's really good. He's really good right here. Now, they're all in the same uh, depth. Let me see. Figure out... Where did I put my notes at? Okay, so these guys are on the other category. So I'm going to have to pick two of these guys right here in terms of overalls. So, yeah, let's uh, pick this guy up for sure. Lucas Johansson. Seems like a good defenseman, little defenseman right here. Somebody already wants him, so I'm going to have to give him the exact years he wants. And uh, I I'll just give him more money, I guess. Uh, 7.4. There we go. Uh, Brendan Shea right here, or uh, I guess a Vili Don or something. Gonna have to figure this out. Uh, 80. So this guy, I'm not going for him. He's uh, he's not gonna be good for us. This guy either though. This guy is not gonna be good either. Okay. Well, if he's not gonna be good, I'm not gonna go for uh, like minor players like these. I'm not gonna take a chance on them. Uh, anybody that could be good. So this guy, nope. Okay, oh, okay, hold on. There we go. Let's go. The Angelo's not good enough. Der uh, Travis Dermott, not good enough, boys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, Muzzin, is he any good? He's almost there. Almost there for Muzzin. Zaitsev, okay, there we go. Zaitsev, there it is. There's one of them, boys, so he's uh, he's good enough. So I guess we could go for Zaitsev. Let's go for him. Let's, uh, let's sign Zaitsev, boys. Uh, nobody wants him, so we can give him... Uh, we're going to actually give him five years right there. Give him five years and... Uh, sure, why not? Actually, no. Let's give him the three years. He wanted the three, uh, three years. I'll give him the three years because it's going to be at 20, uh, 35 years of age. He's going to be pretty old, so... We're going to give him the money he wants. Uh, just a little bit more money, but the amount of years he wants right there. We're gonna, not going to take any risks. Uh, forward wise now we do need a, a depth forward boys so someone in the 80s 80s to 83 overall is a uh, depth forward available for us boys but uh, we're gonna go into the 80s right here okay so let's uh find that out figure that uh that stuff out anybody that could be interesting i mean if the uh, first guy first back carlson Really good, right? Really good uh, player, but uh, it two, two way forward though. Don't want two way forwards, boys. Oh, this guy's really good, Abramov. Uh, this guy's really good, sniper. And look at that, 88, 88. Yeah, compared to his 80 overall, this guy could be really good. Now we do have a, a Bergeron, I guess, that we could pick up as well. No, uh, I'm gonna pick up something that's safe. Gonna pick up uh, Abramov. He's gonna be our depth forward, boys. Let's see real quick. Uh, what is he? Uh, how many years? He wants two years. Uh, I'll give you four years, my guy. I'll give you the four-year deal. Uh, you want uh, you want that amount of money? You don't want a lot of money, my guy, for four years. You're not gonna cost me anything. Holy shit! All right, he's not gonna cost me anything. Is there any goalies available? Like, oh yeah, there's a lot of goalies. Look at that, Samsonov, Elibach. It's going to be interesting, boys. A lot of um, good uh, players this year. A lot of good players. Now, I know you guys probably want would want me to go for, uh, I I guess, uh, the uh, the guy, right? The the left wing uh, uh, sniper elite or whatever. But I'm not going to go for him. You probably would want me to go for the goal, one of the goalies as well. But it's not going to happen. So we got the middle stat. We got the other one. Abramov, Johansson. Looks like uh, we pretty much uh, got everybody. We got Dylan Larkin as well. So everybody's signed up, boys. We got everyone in there. Let's uh, sign on till the 10th. 
right here of uh, July and look, uh, take a look really quick at the free agency. What the who did uh, did get signed right here? Who uh, who signed who? I guess Muzzins, Vetrano, Trocheck, the big one. So Kasha, our only our ancient player, former player, is going with the Vegas Golden Knights. Chris Latin is going with the Carolina Hurricanes. All right, uh, Gustafson, Robinson, Borgstrom, Osang. Anybody that's really interesting. Our former player as well, Ryan Strom, going with Anaheim. Samsonov is uh, signed with uh, Winnipeg boys. So Samsonov is going with Winnipeg. Veselainen. I don't see anybody else right here. Philip Dano. Wenberg. Wenberg boys is going with uh, Washington Capitals. Okay. Kubalik is going with Montreal. Ellabuck is going with the Islanders. Oh, fuck. They've got Connor Ellabuck now. All right. Well, Carter Hart resign in, I guess. And that's about it. I think, right? Yeah, I think that's about it. Kaprasov, boys, he went with the Colorado Avalanche. So, wow. They got themselves... Not, not only did, we, did they win the Cup, boys, they got themselves a seven-year deal. For seven years, they've got themselves a, a great left winger. All right. That's interesting. That's really crazy, actually. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. All right, so we're getting ready to do the preseason. Before that, we obviously got to look at the roster moves, do all of our entire thing right there. Let's take a look at our players. So uh, Larkin's still a 91 overall. We got Backstrom at 87. Malkin at 85. So a lot of, like, depth uh, players. Center position is very solid for us, boys. Middle stat, which is a, kind of a little bit of a prospect. He's got like, another two years to grow, boys. So we got ourselves a medium elite player. Uh, prospect player right there which is fantastic for us he's a great he's gonna be a great player for us Eric Stahl in the minors of course with Johansson and stuff uh, we've got a left wing Panarin of course 91 overall 90 overall for Lafreniere so he can definitely compete with Panarin now he's gonna be great Tara Vinen, Olofsson Abramov which he's uh, obviously he's gonna be our depth uh, forward right there but he's already moved up to an 81 overall but he's our depth uh, forward Okay, so that's pretty much it. We've got Capo Caco, 86 overall. So he didn't grow. Uh, we're going to need to start playing him a little bit. He actually dropped, I think. We're going to need to play him a little bit further, boys, in the first line or something if we need him, if we want him to grow because uh, Lafreniere is growing, but not him. It's I don't want to waste uh, Caco's potential here. Rakol, Bushnevich, uh, Boudin did not grow, boys. Did not grow during this uh, the, pre the off season. That is not too good for us. Uh, defenseman, Klimber, Truba, Barry, Johansson, Miller, uh, Sidesef, and Buffalgun as our depth defenseman. He even dropped a little bit further than I expected him to. A uh, Shesterkin, 88 overall. And uh, Old B dropped to uh, an 82 for, uh, by one overall, I guess. That's going to be good, though. That's going to be just fine. So we got uh, all of this. Uh, let me do the lineups really quick. I'll see you once, uh, guys once it's done. All right, boys, I'm finally done with the lines, finally. Uh, it took me about 20 minutes to do so, uh, to do the lines or something. It took me a long time. I had to make sure that the lines were just perfect for uh, the simulation and stuff. So we're going to have Panarin, Larkin, and Kako together. Uh, we're going to have these three guys together. So it's going to be a plus three overall for them. The rest is going to be even, it looks like. Uh, Lafreniere, Malkin, Rackle. So Lafreniere still, once again, is going to play on the second line. The reason I'm playing him on the second line instead of Panarin is simple. Uh, I was looking at offensive awareness, boys. So offensive awareness, uh, Lafreniere is not up there quite yet, boys. He's not as good, supposedly, as a Panarin, which I agree with. Uh, but with a Malkin and a Rackle, he should be able to do all right. Even though it's three playmakers, they should be all right. Uh, Olofsson, Backstrom, and Bushnevich. And Teravainen, Middlestat, and Boudin. Boy. So two, uh, two of our big prospects playing in the fourth line once again. Uh, I hope they're going to grow playing together. They should help us each other out, I guess. I really hope that it's going to happen. Uh, Boudin is a really big prime prospect for us. I hope he, uh, he grows. He's a really like a player that scores a lot of goals. So we got to watch out for that. Uh, Barry, Klimberg. Uh, Johansson and Truba, Miller and Zaitsev. All right, so that's all it's done. And uh, goalie wise, Shostak and Old B. The reason why, obviously, I'm going to take a look at look at that. So this is my uh, AHL league right there, as you can see. Defensive side as well. 
nothing too shabby. So the reason why it took me so long to actually do the lineups is because of the special uh, teams, right? I wanted to make sure that uh, we did have the proper uh, special teams. So Panarin, Larkin, Backstrom with Barry and Klimberg on the power play. Lafreniere, Malkin and Olofsson uh, with Johansson and Miller boys. Uh, four man power play, penalty kill, Larkin and Lafreniere with Truba and Klingberg. This is the penalty kill that's going to fall apart, boys. Backstrom, Panarin, Zaitsev, and Parry. So, penalty kill might be hurt a little bit. Hopefully, we're going to be fine. Uh, extras. Now, I do want an extra attacker. Uh, let's find out. Extra attacker, I kind of want to have uh, Lafreniere, not in there. Uh, sure, yeah. Uh, Panarin, Larkin, yep. Uh, Lafreniere, I want him there. There we go. Uh, we're going to get Kako and Backstrom. That seems fine by me. That seems fine by me, boys. And uh, shootout, uh, we're going to be fine. Okay, so that's that's pretty much it. I'm ready to start it up, boys. I'm ready to start the simulation up. Uh, actually, I do want to see uh, my, I guess, captain in jerseys, right? We're going to make sure that it's the right stuff uh, going out. So still, I am my captain. And these two guys as my assist. Uh, that's uh, fine by me. All right, let's get it done, boys. Start a little bit of the simulation here. We're going to simulate the entire regular season, though. Don't want to mess around with that, boys. Don't need to waste time at all. Uh, we are here for the regular season. That's about it. Uh, hopefully, we're going to get a good simulation. I think we are going to get a good simulation because uh, we had one for both the two previous years. So, I know what I'm doing like in terms of uh, stats-wise for the players, uh, for the lineups and stuff. It's just uh, when it comes down to the playoffs, it's 50-50 uh, really. Anything can happen. So it's just uh, we just got to hope that we get some luck into the playoffs. All right, let's get it done. Let's get into it. Uh, let's take a look really quick at what the play uh, preseason looked like. Uh, two uh, two wins, three wins right there. Five wins, six wins. So six, uh, oh, and one. So really good. Really good start, boys. Uh, preseason right there. So let's hope that it's uh, a good, uh, a good look at how my team's gonna play. So two, four, six, eight, and ten. So all the way up to the Chicago Blackhawks game for the first ten games of the season, boys. We start off with a win, four to three against um, the Pittsburgh Penguins. We get uh, two wins, uh, two uh, games in a row against the Pittsburgh Penguins uh, to start it off. Shesterkin's gonna get injured already. So already we got uh, Shesterkin being injured. I'm going to get um, Garen in there because he's the goalie that uh, he's not actually, he doesn't um, he doesn't play the minors. He already doesn't play the minors since it's like our elite goaltender that plays in there. So he's basically uh, the def. I'm just going to keep him uh, in here just in case there's injury like these. I'm going to keep him in here for good. So, uh, Garin, uh, Garin, you're going to be in there. There's a go another win against Pittsburgh. We're going to upper end against Pittsburgh, which is good. Uh, a win against Winnipeg. That's three wins in a row to start it off. A fourth win in a row. Shishturkin is back, boys, already. There we go. Fantastic. So, uh, did Garin play? He didn't even uh, play. So, Holby just did his job, I guess. He does did his job. How, how does it look? Yeah, Holby's having a good season. So, that's fantastic for us, boys. Let's get it done. I got a good power play this time around, a really, a really good power play. I don't know if my penalty kill is any good. Hopefully it is. But we're starting off the season with a five-game winning streak right here. Uh, all the way up at six games in a row. There we go. Six wins in a row right here against uh, the St. Jose Sharks. We lose our first game of the season against the Winnipeg Jets. But uh, bounce back up with another win against Hurricanes. And another win against the Hanheim Ducks. So another two wins. Going to get a, a one last win against Tampa Bay. We uh, cannot, so we get a regulation loss. So our first 10 games have a, uh, a simulation of 8 and 2, boys. Fantastic. 15 points for Dylan Larkin. Uh, I'm happy I got for I got him, boys. I was hesitating, hesitant to get him because he didn't have the discipline. Discipline was way down. But it's kind of the same as Lafreniere. His discipline is down. Uh, you just got to play the good... You just have the good, uh, have to get the good players to play with them, right? So uh, that's pretty much that. It's kind of early to tell, really, uh, whether we should make any changes or whatnot. Uh, but uh, if we take a look at that, right? Capo Caco is having a good season right now. See, he needs—he's a great player, but he needs to play on the first line. 
uh, because if we don't play him on the first line or anything, he's not going to play doing too good, boys. On the third line, uh, he's very limited. He was very limited last year, so I had to play him on the first line right there to help him out, uh, help us grow out. Uh, Lafreniere with Malkin and, um, and I guess, uh, Rackle. They're doing all right. They're doing their part. I mean, Lafreniere is the type of player who's not really going to do too much. Uh, we've got Olofsson, Backstrom. And uh, Bushnevich, they're doing all right as well. Tara Vinen, uh doing pretty good. Yeah, Boudin, we already know he's a he's a sniper. And uh, it looks like Middlestat might be a playmaker big time. Yeah, an actual playmaker. These guys, how are they doing? They're doing all right. Yeah, they're doing just fine. Goalies. Uh, Shishturk is actually having a bad season. His first bad season he's having. That's interesting. It's all be it's having a good one. All right, well... Don't feel like we need to change anything. Uh, I can, uh, I could always look at the strategies though. See if uh, there's anything that's uh, going wrong right now. Are we, uh, where are we right now? We are, I can already see we're the best, second best te uh, offensive team. And defensive team, we're uh, up there. We're, kind of, we're, we're decent enough. Power play, we got the best power play. 50% of power play, boys. So half of the times we're getting into a power play, we score a goal, boys. That's crazy. 50% is crazy. Penalty kill 100. Oh, yo, my special units are crazy. I like that. Yeah, so my special units are working uh, like crazy. I've got, I uh, I did well to spend like 20 minutes on them because they're really working. Uh, 2, 4, 6, uh, 8, and 10. There it goes all the way up to the Boston Bruins game, boys. At 20 games played. Let's see if we can't uh, get a, a, another winning streak going. We get another loss, though, against uh, Chicago. 5-4. Uh, we get a win against uh, Colorado. A win against Minnesota. Let's go. Let's get those wins piling on. There we go. Another win against uh, Toronto. I think we're going to have a really good season because my special new units are way up there. I mean, with a power play of 50%. You don't want to take a penalty against us. Uh, you take a penalty, there's f there's a half a chance that we're actually going to score. That's crazy. That's I've never seen that before, boys. That's a way up there. And the 100% penalty kill is going to go down, obviously. It, there's no way we're going to stay there. But uh, we're having a really good season. Yeah, right now we're having a good season. I'm really happy about um, the way we're playing. I think uh, it's uh, it's above my expectations, uh, and I think the way I edited out my edited out my uh, lineups or something must have worked out tremendously, boys, because we're actually winning games as well in overtime and shootout. So we're doing the deed over there as well. So uh, we got the team. I don't know if it's the addition of the uh, Diller and Larkin that's helping out or not or whatnot, but uh, we're really doing good. But look at the Boston Bruins, though. Which is the best team by far of the entire league. Right, right above us. 38 points. They don't have a single regulation loss, boys. They basically have the same record as us. Except it's uh, us. It's, for, uh, it's all a bunch of regulation losses. They don't have any. So that's crazy, boys. Really crazy. They're doing so good. Uh, if we take a look at our players really quick. I don't even want to take a look at the... Uh, the team stats, I think we're going to be doing just fine. Uh, Panarin, yep, 22 points right now, 11 goals. Uh, Larkin's the one who passes the puck. And same goes for Kako, kind of. He kind of passes the puck quite a lot. Uh, he does have 23 points in 20 games played, so that's good for him. Uh, Lafreniere, what is he doing? Oh, he's, there we go, he's bouncing back up. Now he's had a really good production. Uh, 17 points now, so... Uh, definitely passes the buck a lot. Malkin is kind of a two-way. He's going to do both. And uh, same thing with uh, Record Rackle, boys. He's kind of going to do uh, both, it seems like. Olofsson, uh, Backstrom, and Bushnevich. They're not... Well, I guess they're doing decent. I think it's just Olofsson struggling or something. I don't know. Uh, I'm not changing the lineups. Just to uh, let you guys know, I'm definitely not changing the lineups because... We're, uh, we're winning like crazy. Uh, Barry, uh, Klingberg. All right, so I think everybody's good. What about Shishturkin? All right, he's bounced back up. I think Olby is having a great season. Shishturkin's having a difficult time, so that might be what's trending us down a little bit. But I think in terms of everything else, uh, we're, we're doing really great. It's two simulations in a row where we're basically 8-2, so 
We gotta keep it going, boys. Two, four, six, eight, and ten. All the way up to the New Jersey Devils. 30 games played, boys. We're not gonna do the entire season this year. I don't know. Well, I'm, we might do it. I'm not sure. We'll see uh, how fast we go into the simulation. There's another two wins right there. Uh, up against the, uh, the Senate, uh, Ottawa Senators. Uh, we're going to have to replace a player here. Zaitsev got injured. It's one of our players for the penalty kill as well. So that's not good. Uh, our depth uh, def demon. So we're going to get uh, Buffalo Gun in there, I guess. There we go. He's going to be replacing for a while. So let's just get him there. Replace Zaitsev really quick. Let's hope that we can continue to win some games right here. There's another win against Boston. These wins against Boston huge boys because they uh, they're gonna allow us to move up uh of them right they're our main targets right now they're the ones we're, uh, who are we competing in we are competing with them uh for the uh, president's trophy right now so we gotta we gotta really beat them up once uh when we uh, face them i think we haven't lost a single game yet in that simulation boys that's look, look at that another win can we get uh, the winning streak going oh yeah yeah look at that my God, uh, another win against Winnipeg, maybe? Can we get it? Oh, Shishturkin's injured again. So Shishturkin likes to get injured, boys. Gets injured quite a lot. And once he comes back, when he's actually there, he's not doing too good. And he gets injured quite a lot. Let me see really quick. Uh, what was his uh, his thing? Oh, he, he was bouncing back up in terms of production. So he was doing all right. Yeah, we haven't lost a single game. We went undefeated in that last simulation, boys. 10 wins in a row. And uh, that actually puts us at a 12 wins in a row right now. We got a 12-game winning streak uh, going on right now. We are doing fantastic. Dylan Larkin's got 41 points in 30 games played. Uh, we're well above everybody else. We passed, obviously, the Bruins now with that 12-game winning streak. Wow, that's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. And we got some injuries like Shishturkin and stuff and whatnot, and we're doing so good. Uh, Lafreniere, look at that. 29 points in 30 games played. He's starting to bounce back up in terms of production now. He's doing really good. Yeah, I like to see that. I'll, I really like to see that. Helping us out. I think Malkin is really a guy that's going to produce quite a lot uh, normally, naturally in, in the game. So it's really helping out everybody else. I want to take a look uh, at middle stat and uh, Boudin. They not, they, the fourth line do not play well together. There's always going to be that line that's going to be the minus line. Seems like this is, it might be the one right there. Middle stat. Uh, not doing too good uh, with, uh, I guess, Boudin, which is a shame, really. It really is a shame. I mean, Boudin's got five goals. He had 18 goals last year. So, yeah, he should be doing a little bit better right here. Not much I can do, though. We're winning games. I don't, I'm not going to change the lineups if we're winning games, boys. I mean, I don't want to change. I don't want to touch anything. I don't want to touch anything at all. Uh, we're winning games. We're not actually undefeated for 12 g games in a row right here. Like uh, four. That look at that. 4.13, the uh, goals per game, boys. Uh, goals against is is pretty good. And power play. Now it's not at 50% anymore, obviously, but it's still at 33%. It's still pretty good. Uh, penalty kill run from 100 to 70 though, so it's dropping down quite a lot. Got to watch out for that though. Penalty kill starting to drop up quite a lot, boys. That's uh, kind of a dangerous thing right there. But as long as we're winning games, I'm not changing anything. I'm keeping the same strategies and everything, boys. Uh, there's no point in changing the stuff. So 2, 4, uh, 6, I guess, 8, and 10. So all the way, all the way up to the Arizona Coyotes game. We're going to be at half the season done after that. Uh, Zaitsev is back. Let's bring him in back in there, boys. Let's bring him back. Uh, what did Buffalo can do for us? Eight games played so far. My, uh, plus four. Four, four, penalty, uh, four min uh, minutes of pen penalty. But that's about it. We didn't do too much uh, other than that. Now let's get it done. All right. So we got our first loss. So we start with a loss. All right. So our winning streak gets uh, gone. It's gone just like that. That's fine though. Let's skip. Uh, there we go. Let's bounce back up. Get another winning streak. I don't care. There you go. It's Shishturkin's back again. All right. So Shishturkin gets some minor injuries here and there uh, all the time. Uh, Garan did get to play his first game in the NHL. But uh, I think he might have lost or something because he didn't do too good. Actually, let me uh, drop that really quick. 
think old b is not supposed there we go i, w I had old b right there as the main uh starter i don't want to have that so we got another loss right there uh let's uh let's just put shesterkin really quick uh up as our starter don't like to see that there we go all right there we go shesterkin you're in there yeah the game is so slow right now what the hell really wish i could have the goddamn uh xbox uh the newer xbox boys but can't get it i can't get it right now it's all sold out everywhere it's always sold out i don't know why there's a go there's a win against montreal i mean with the new um the new setup and everything with a new uh console i know i could simulate this even quicker boys we could get past these seasons like crazy could get to 20 seasons in no time but uh you know, it ain't gonna happen with this, uh, with the old consoles. Um, Nicholas Backstrom got injured, so we're gonna have to replace him. He's in the power play and in the penalty kill, I think. Uh, at, he's at least in the power play. So we gotta replace him with the scratched player, Abramov. So it's his chance, boys, to make his mark right here. Uh, uh, now, which one do I wanna play? Do I wanna play him instead of middle stat? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to play him. Let's bring middle stat up there. There I go. And we're going to put uh, Abramov in the fourth line right there. Let's see if we're going to win some games. We continue to win games, boys. We're in a uh, four games, uh, four game winning streak right here. Fifth, uh, fifth uh, winning row against the other one, the Senators right there. There we go. Let's keep it going, boys. Keep it winning. There we go. Six wins in a row right here against um, Pittsburgh Penguins. In the field of the Flyers, the last game. Let's see if we can't win. Backstrom is going to be back. Hold on. Uh, just a minute, boys. There we go. Uh, what did Abramov do? Three games, nothing. Okay. Did all right. He's not a minus. Uh, Backstrom, get in, uh, get in there. Get back in there, my guy. There we go. Can we get a win? There we go. Six, uh, seven win in a row right there. So we're in the seven game winning streak. All right, there. We had a record of 8, 2, and 0. Oh. There we go. Once again, boys, 52 points for Larkin so far. 68 points uh, in the season. We're doing fantastic. Uh, let's not change anything, boys. Uh, lineups can take a look uh, really quick if we want to, if there's anything to look at, really. Our teams are playing great. Yep. Uh, what about Lafreniere? Where's he at? All right. So Lafreniere has got uh, 46 points in 40 games played, boys. So he's having his best season of his career right now. Which is uh, fantastic. Uh, third line is doing just fine. Uh, Olofsson is struggling a little bit with them. But uh, he's going to have to make do. I guess. He's going to have to make do. Because uh, the, the the lineups are working just fine for me. Okay. And Teravine. The fourth line is obviously struggling. Uh, he only had two points ever since the last 20 games. Or two, 10 games or something. Boudin. He's not doing too good. That's going to hurt his growth though. I don't like that gonna hurt his growth quite a lot uh the fact that he's not pro like producing like that so i don't like that uh it's not like i really change anything here i could change these two guys get him more time on ice i guess if i did that i guess uh just like that maybe it could help right but i i don't know boys it's kind of a, a risky move here to change anything up that uh might uh might hurt us or something I don't want to do that. I don't know. I don't want to do anything stupid here. No, I'm going to keep it like that. I'm not changing the lineups. Uh, everybody's doing fine. So I'm not changing anything. Uh, we're going to do one last simulation. We're going to simulate another 10 games right here, boys. Uh, keep it going really quick. 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Uh, all the way up to the Dallas Stars game. We're going to be at 50 games played. And we're going to stop it there. All right. Uh, for now. Uh, there's a loss against Arizona Coyotes. Another loss in shootout against um, the uh, St. George Sharks. There's a win. There we go. Finally, we get uh, a win back right here. Two losses in a row. That didn't happen too often uh, this year, boys. Probably never happened, actually. Uh, now that you think about it. Because we're having uh, the, the worst uh, regulation. Well, the worst simulation we've gotten so far is uh, two losses in regulation. Oh, there they go. So that's going to be our worst official our official worst simulation so far because we got three losses overall uh, during the simulation. There's a fourth one right there in shootouts. So we're starting to lose uh, in the shootouts and lose the extra points right here. That's interesting. We're starting to lose the extra points. 
We're getting those wins, though. We're still getting those wins. I don't know, boys, if uh, anything is has anything to do or whatever. But uh, there we go. That's officially our worst record. Our worst simulation so far. Six a good record, though. 63 points for Larkin. 21 goal, uh, goals. Uh, I mean, look at that. I mean, 69 points for them. We're 82 points. We're well above everybody else. If we keep uh, playing like that, we're definitely going to get the President's Trophy once again. We're doing fantastic. Uh, we can take a look at our team stats really quick before we end it off, boys. 40, 40 wins, 8 losses in regulation, and 2 losses in overtime, boys. We lost only 10 games in 50 games played. Talk about that shit, boys. We are ba basically by far the best... Uh, Goal scoring team of the league. We're actually going up even in terms of goals. Uh, pin, uh, goals against. We are the best defensive team as well. Power play. We got the best power play. And we've got the be uh, the one of the best penalty kills. No, one of the worst ones actually. We got one of the worst penalty kills. It's going up there though. Last time it was 70%. Uh, we might want to change the penalty kill then. Uh, because it's not doing good. Let's take a look at our players, player stats, boys. Uh, first line is doing really good. Uh, Larkin, Kako, and uh, Panarin, right? Doing really good this year. Uh, Larkin at 63 points, 59 points for Kako. Lafreniere is having a really good season, 61 points, 58 points. I think the power play, right? Power play time is really helping out players like these. I think uh, Lafreniere is a special uh, unit type of guy. Uh, and uh, same thing for Malkin. He's got six points alone in the play power play, boys. Panarin, a uh, Backstrom. He's got uh, Klimbert doing uh, just fine and stuff like that. So we're uh, we're good on that part. Now the thing that's worrying me, the only thing that's worrying me about this team is obviously middle stat, uh, which he's doing all right. But middle stat at Boudin. Uh, they're not playing well together, and I wanted him to grow. They're both... Oh, middle stat went from an elite player to a top six now. Look at that. His potential actually dropped. That is not good. I don't want that to happen to Boudin, boys. He, uh, he doesn't get a lot of time on ice as well. He got, only gets way below nine. He, did, he barely gets eight minutes on time on ice, boys. That's the thing. He, he might be a great goal scorer. But I don't have any space for him right now, so I should probably a guy like him would be uh, like a would be like a uh, for uh, for his backhouse Carlson type of player uh, in this team uh, in this game where you want to play him way above like first or second line where he, he go he, sco he scores like 50 goals a season. He can definitely do that for you, but uh, I feel like that would hurt my team in the long run. Right, I want my team to play well, not just the players. By themselves to do good. There we go. Shusterkin went back in there. He's once again having a good season. And it's really helping us out. That Obi is having one of his best seasons of his career uh, right now. So that's uh, fantastic for us boys. So that's pretty much it for now. We're doing just fine boys. I'm going to leave it uh, for right now. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys uh, for the next one. Keep it easy.